I want to speak to you on a topic tonight. The connection of the mystery is real. The connection of the mystery is real. Are you there? Many people in life dying of many sickness, cancer, sugar, arthritis, all different types of sickness in their body, and they don't know how to be healed, how to be delivered. Some seek pastors, some seek prophets, some seek doctors, and when all of this don't work, then they give up on God. And decide in the life that what will be must be. But the truth of the facts, the signs of the time will tell you and redirect your thoughts in many ways of life. There's many ways to connect the wire, but there is one true way to connect it, connect it together for the fan to speak. Am I right? You cannot put negative with negative or positive with positive. It, the light won't come on. Are you there? Connection is very important to your life. And that's why the Bible speaks about the true vine. And you must connect to your father, which is the, the true vine. Are you there? Many of you upon this earth, for months, you have never connected to your father. Some of you for years. And the, the truth of the fact, none of you know your father. You some call upon Jesus Christ. You some call upon Selassie. You some call upon some other Indian gods. But none of you really know who your true father is. Because if you identify your father, you would identify your future in life. But you can take the commercials that other prophets and pastors have passed and leave behind and use those commercials as example, like Jesus commercials, like Elisha commercials, like Enoch commercials, all these commercials that they use to connect with their father, you can use those commercials which are called miracles and signs and wonders, and then you can use them in these days to see if they work for you. Are you ready? The elements of life have to connect with the true vine for your life to be perfect. Are you ready? Until you connect to your true vine for your life to be perfect, the cells in your body will not come alive. I repeat. Until you connect to the true vine to become perfect, the cells in your body will never come out. Every cell in your body will go dead. It doesn't matter what type of food it is. It doesn't matter what clothes you wear. It doesn't matter what drink you drink. Every drink you drink, you kill in a cell. Every eat you eat, you're killing a cell. Until you connect with the true vine, those cells will never come alive. Your body cannot do without water. Am I right? Your body cannot do without food, which is the earth. Am I right? Your body cannot do without air that you breathe, which is the breath of life. Am I right? 
Your body cannot do without fire, which is heat, the warmness in your body. Until you meet all of this together, you are a dead person. And that's why Jesus signified to the blind man and the layman and said, Go to the water and wash yourself. Take off your shoes so your feet connect with the earth so the cells can rotate in motion. The warm water with the earth, with the wind and the sun flowing through the water, warm the water, command the cells in your body to rotate and come back alive. That's why it's very important that every one of you meets all the elements every single week together. Before you eat your breakfast in the morning, you must connect the cells to the elements of life, which is the earth. That's why you take off your shoes and you walk outside the barefoot to make sure the cells start to rotate. Because the sensor of the cells connect with the earth and send back strength to your body. I you hear what I'm saying. It's very important that eat at least two or three times a day you take off your shoes and walk on the raw grass, walk on the dirt. It's very important that you mess up your shoes and mess up your, your feet in the dirt for even 10 or 15 minutes. It must be wet with water to rotate your dead cells to come back alive. Yes. It reprograms your body for life. Anyone live and don't place their feet on the ground for two or three or four months going a year, take six afterwards. We call it sensor, the cells in your body not connecting to the earth. Yes. It's very important that the child drink the milk of the mother to stay alive. The earth is cut. Until you take off your shoes, you'll never walk and hold it up. It's very important that all the elements of life meet you together. That's why the Bible says, I will protect you of the terror by night, of the nice and pestilence that walk it at midday. Because God shines his holy power upon the water, connecting the, the earth the elements of the earth together. Once you touch the water at noon day, all the cells in your body start to reproduce and come alive. It's very important that you walk into a spring at noon day. Very, very important. All of these elements come together. The water, the earth, the wind, the fire, and the mystery. They come together. You only be in trouble. After you come out of the shower, you put on your slippers, go in your room, go on your mats, put on your clothes, and never touch the ground for five minutes. That's why your head hurts. That's why your teeth are dropping out. That's why it is so ugly. Because the earth cannot connect with you to bring back the strength and bring back the virtue in you. All you connect with is this mankind manipulated connection. You can't touch the earth because the earth is too dirty for you. Where you take your comfort. The food that you're eating where it comes from. The clothes that you wear, where it comes from. When you show away something, where it goes. 
until you realize that you cannot escape from the earth, you will realize that it's the most important in your life. The earth is so much important that anytime you abort it, you abort life. Are you with me? It's very, very important. That's why you cannot leave the earth no time in your lifetime. This is where you stay forever and ever. We know of a fact that our pastors tell us that there's two ways before us. We should choose our chance. But the truth of the fact there is no two ways before us. There is no way before us. There is no choice before us. For when the caterpillar moves to that butterfly, he cannot choose where he go. He remains upon the earth forever. He cannot go nowhere. So there is no way to go. But right here, this is our paradise. This is our heaven that we call it. This is our holy place. When you change from the caterpillar to a butterfly, you as a butterfly can identify the caterpillar, but the caterpillar cannot identify you because you change. Are you there? So you can tell the caterpillar, you know me? He says no. And you can tell him, I'm coming from where you're coming from. But the caterpillar, because he can't go there, and he don't have the imagination there, he will tell you he don't know. That's why you have some dumb pastors in the world. As a prophet of God, I've been here for 17 times I'm roaming the earth. So I can tell you who I am. But a full, full pastor who just here for one time or two times, they can tell you that the God is dead. That's why they shut down. The lack of knowledge, the lack of wisdom. I change from that caterpillar to a butterfly so I can tell you all of the caterpillar things coming to the butterfly thing. I really. They are not there yet. They have never changed five times yet. They have never been to that level to see the mystery of life yet. So the mindset is still dark as that caterpillar. The butterfly will tell the caterpillar, you know, I want to change to a bad next because I experience changing without dying. Are you there? When that caterpillar talks to a cow, the cow says he is a false prophet. You cannot change without dying. The caterpillar says, but I have the instinct, I have the Example, I've been there, I've, I've done it before. The cow said, no, the Bible said you shall die. So the caterpillar is more educated because he is a mystery person. That's why he becomes a prophet. Are you there? So all of the cows come together and two or three butterflies come together. But because you have more cows than butterflies, they make the butterfly look foolish. Are you there? Because they said the majority comes. But the truth of the fact the majority never comes. If you're sick, go into some water, spray. For the water flowing out of the spoon. Lie on that water for a couple of hours or half an hour, a couple of minutes. Especially at noon, the midday, the sun shining in the water. And before you come out, you can feel your, your cells start to get rid of that sickness out of your body. The people in the region saw to speak to the blind man and said, this man didn't blind. Or he was faking. 
how he could blind and become seen. He said, oh, I know I met a man named Jesus. He said, well, watch. In the spring, I connect with all the elements of life. And the spring healed me. Myself and overpower my sickness. And I become healed. 